Good evening, Encounter. This edition of Encounter features poet cum diplomat Abhay K, whose seventh book remains a collection of poems, was released on the 28th of June. And just to let you know, his books include The River Valley to Silicon Valley, Story of Three Generations of an Indian Family, a Russian translation, We Put Ot Reknoi Doleni, Enigmatic Love, Love Poems from the Fairy Tale City of Moscow, Fallen Leaves of Autumn, Ten Questions of the Soul, Suvet Dushi, Candling the Light, a collection of poems, and Remains, a collection of poems. Abhay K, welcome to the studios of All India Radio. Thank you. At the outset, just uh, share with us, uh, did you choose to write poems or was it spontaneous? How, how did it happen? I chose to share a story of my life so far which could have positive impact on people, hmm. uh, inspire them, especially the younger generation. Hmm. As I myself traveled a long journey hmm. and uh, I thought that this journey must be shared, which could inspire the younger generation. My poems uh, are spontaneous expressions of awe and wonder, hmm. angst and bliss hmm. I came across in my life. I had to write them down somewhere because I just could not do without Okay, okay. Okay. Abhay K, tell us something about your background. I studied geography at uh, Kirorimal College in Delhi University mm. and later at the Center of Study of Regional Development at JNU. After that, I joined the Indian Foreign Service in 2003 and became a diplomat. Mm -hmm. So far, I have worked uh, in Moscow and St. Petersburg and now I'm in New Delhi at the Ministry of External Affairs. Now, if one were to trace your inner journey, you told us about your external journeys but your internal journey as a writer how would you trace it when did you know that you you know wanted to write or something was happening inside it all happened suddenly as i arrived in moscow in 2005 august mm. and i was awed and mm. in wonder mm. uh, seeing the beauty okay. uh, in the streets of moscow mm. it was just so overwhelming mm. that uh, i poems uh, started flowing out of me spontaneously. And it had, to, it had not happened before even in your JNU days? Uh, no, not really. I was uh, so engrossed in studies okay. and uh, mm -hmm. in my mm -hmm. routine mm -hmm. stuff, I could not really pen down anything. Uh, tell us something about, uh, if you were to describe your style of writing, how would you do that? My style of writing is spontaneous mm -hmm. and very simple. Mm -hmm. I write straight from my heart. There's lightness in mm. my writing, easy and smooth to read and uh, very easy to comprehend. One of the noted writers, H.S. Uh, Shiva Prakash, mm -hmm. uh, he recently wrote uh, about pristine simplicity which mm -hmm. my poems have and uh, another noted writer from the South, K. Sachidanandan, mm -hmm. he says that my poems are plain meditations, mm -hmm. short of usual poetic embellishments. That's good. What exactly is the writing process? How do you do it? I write quite often. I write mm. almost every day. I don't follow a routine of morning or evening, but, mm. but I do write uh, mm. whenever I get some time. You know, it could be for 10 minutes or it could be for an hour, mm. but I do write every day. Again, tracing your journey, how and when uh, did you get your whatever you wrote published? Publishing happened to me when I was 26. It all happened suddenly. I was in Moscow, I wrote the book and then I asked a few of my friends who had already published books that how do you do that? Okay. And uh, your, your seniors. And yes. And they told me that, you know, I know this publisher, would you like to uh, contact him? Oh. And if he likes your work, he would publish it. One of my friends recommended a publishing house called Bookwell India. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the way my and they really liked the manuscript. Okay. And they published it. So that's my first book, River Valley to Silicon Valley, was published. Yeah. How do you uh, say it in Russian? It's called Vaput at Richnoy Dalini. Okay. Okay. Uh, the Russian version was published uh, subsequently in Saint Petersburg by Svetoslav Publishers, and uh, literally translates at translates as Vaput at Richnoy Dalini. We we encounter surprises in, in all walks of life, all facets of life. As a writer, have you ever encountered any surprise? As a writer, I have been beauty of writing. That's, mm. uh, that's what engrosses me completely. Nevertheless, what I have found that, you know, as a writer, you mm. go back and back mm. to your uh, life. Mm. And uh, it's almost like you live life twice. Mm. And this, that was a discovery for me. I saw that, you know, whenever I start mm. writing, I go back and come back. Tell us something about your your sources of inspiration, your sources of creativity. What what inspires you to undertake such endeavors? I have realized that you know 
beauty in any form mm. is the source of my inspiration is the symmetry of mm. a building mm. or symmetry of a flower it's the symmetry of galaxies or the symmetry of the uh, the whole universe mm. you know there is something innate within us which i like to call the primal force mm-hmm. and uh, i see that it has been throughout uh, the journey of this universe from big bang Mm-hmm. till today mm-hmm. or most probably even it predates the big bang mm-hmm. and this primal force uh, beauty mm-hmm. you know that's what is source of my inspiration all of us have proud points in time in life how would you describe your proudest writer moment my first book for example mm-hmm. uh, was picked up by someone and i got to know it later that someone very important in india mm-hmm. and he was he told me one day that uh, he has recommended his kids to read this book okay, because okay. they should know what does it mean to come from the grassroots you know and uh, they should uh, it's a mandatory reading for them hmm. and that was a real moment of okay don't rival the secret was yes. it an actor or a politician or a cricketer <laughs> <laughs> it was a politician okay <laughs> interesting uh, recently another an editor of hmm. uh, Indian literature which is the publication of Sahitya Academy mm-hmm. he shared that he read my book mm-hmm. River Valley to Silicon Valley mm-hmm. and uh, he shared his this book and requested his daughter mm-hmm. who studied in St Stephen's to read okay, this book okay. uh, this was another moment when i felt that you know someone feels so strongly about this book that recommends one's own daughter or son to read that's, great compliment that's, that's wonderful all of us get advices in life at some point in time or the other in terms of writing was there any advice that you got from anyone or any source i've been like uh, i've learned so much by reading myself i feel that you know a writer must write hmm. it's uh, all uh, positives or all the virtues of writing uh, you can learn from hmm. by writing only hmm. you know no advice really can really make you a writer it it has to come from the practice so once you start writing you get slowly and slowly there that oh this is missing that is missing but then it also depends on uh, how you can take out time for that from your busy schedule you have to create time we all have 24 hours oh. uh, but uh, you need to create time to th- for things which you really feel for hmm. and writing is something which i can't do without i do find time okay. <laughs> now share a share a little secret with us what has been your most embarrassing moment as a writer when i found uh, that you know the hindu literary review hmm. uh, they did a review of my first book hmm. river valley to hmm. silicon valley and i found that you know there were lots of typos and errors okay, okay. you know so how, how did the creep in i think uh, the copy editor of the publication <laughs> <laughs> did not pay enough attention to uh-huh. those i find them lacking in good copy editors okay 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 but what about uh, subsequent reprints can can a writer kind of approach them and yes the second edition or third edition gets better what is your primary philosophy in life how do you look at things a writer should not really care about uh, you know fame or hmm. you know the future whether his works would become mm-hmm. classics you know a writer must write he must write till his last that's what a writer should do he shouldn't care that whether his works would be immortal or bite the that's library dust that's he must write when you're not writing what do you like to do hobbies or other interests painting is one of my other hobbies okay uh, have, you, have you learned painting or it came on its own it's came out on its own as writing came on its okay. own okay okay and uh, i have done about uh, 60 paintings mm-hmm. and have exhibited my works actually mm-hmm. in st petersburg in paris mm-hmm. and uh, recently in new delhi and uh, now the easiest and the toughest question as a writer who are your favorite writers how do you choose Uh, some of my favorite writers are like Chinua Achiwe uh, he's an african writer mm-hmm. uh, Ernest Hemingway mm-hmm. uh, everybody knows the old man and the mm-hmm. sea is mm-hmm. i love reading uh, short stories of gogol nikolai gogol mm-hmm. uh, the russian writer mm-hmm. and uh, one of my all time favorite writers is gogol you know i always keep a copy of ramdhari singh dinkar's book okay. uh, rashmi rathi mm-hmm. which is one of my mm-hmm. most favorite books besides that the dohas mm-hmm. of kabir mm-hmm. rahim they always stay with me in the sense they're inside here some of the recent works mm-hmm. 
Latin American writers, okay. uh, Gabriel Garcia Marquez mm-hmm. and Turkish writer Orhan Pamuk. These are some of my... Quite a pluralistic basket that you've got. Thank you. Do you come across uh, new writers who approach you just for guidance or how's your interaction with them? Yes, I do get uh, a number of people approaching me mm-hmm. uh, that you are a published author. So mm-hmm. you suggest me as mm-hmm. I used to when I was a new mm-hmm. author. And I do advise them that these are the publishers in the market mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you send your works to them. And what, what's your advice to them normally? I tell them that, you know, a writer's foremost job is to write. Hmm. Focus on quality writing. Okay. Rest will be taken care of. You don't really have to uh, run from pillar to post to get published. That's good. That's good. What are you currently working on? I am currently working on a book called Seduction of Delhi. This is what I have written in past two years, hmm. over 100 poems. Hmm. Delhi is my beloved city, hmm. a city I really love. Hmm. And it's difficult for me. My heart breaks every time I have to leave this city. Hmm. Hmm. And uh, so this time I thought that I must pay my homage to this great city. And uh, the poems uh, in Seduction of Delhi are Mm. actually about, uh, it covers 3000 years of Delhi's Mm -hmm. past and present. And uh, it's about the monuments, Mm. different Mm. cities of Mm. Delhi, and the people from security guards to bureaucrats okay. to politicians, okay. all kind of people. All colors uh, of Delhi. All, col- okay. all colors of Delhi. Mm-hmm. It's a book about Delhi. Abhay K. Remains was recently launched. Uh, would you like to recite a few lines from one of your favorite poems in that? Uh, one of my most favorite poem from Remains is uh, the first poem itself. Hmm. It's called Fellow Rafters. Hmm. Fellow Rafters in the Rocky Waters, hmm. row on, row on. Row on. That's That sounds very philosophical. I mean, what exactly are yes. you alluding? Yes, it goes a little ahead like that. Mm. Fellow rafters mm. in the rocky waters, mm. row on, row on, row on. Mm. However tumultuous mm. be the river, mm-hmm. row on, row on, row on. Overcome all obstacles and yes, go Yes, so go. it's about uh, everybody else uh, mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. like a fellow traveler. On this planet okay, okay, okay. and uh, my uh, mm. humble suggestion or humble uh, request is that never give up row on good good very good recently been involved with uh, a movement called poetry at the monument tell us something about it poetry at the monument happened uh, it happened out of an inner urge mm-hmm. to bring poetry back to delhi delhi as we know it's a, a city of great poets like mm-hmm. galib mm-hmm. amir kushro mm-hmm and several others yeah. and uh, uh, in recent times our lives have become more and more mechanized hmm. and uh, there was a need of a space hmm. where we take poetry back to Delhi bring poetry back to Delhi and what we started doing in May hmm. is to going out uh, at the monuments like uh, Humayus tomb or okay. Lodi garden a, a couple of poets uh-huh. and uh, we started reading our poems hmm. at the monument Okay. So okay. idea was to take poetry back to open space mm-hmm. and to pay homage to heritage, mm. realize that you know so much of historical treasure we have yeah. among us. So idea is to take uh, poetry to the past seven cities, historical cities of Delhi. Mm-hmm. So it started in May at Humayus tomb and now it will be done at uh, Sher Mandal at Purana mm-hmm. at Tuglaka Bad, Feroz Shah Kotla, mm. Mehroli. And it will end at Ghalib's Haveli in Shah Zahabad okay. on his Ghalib's birthday, 27th That's December. Wonderful. A poet uh, essentially is a very sensitive human being. Abhay K, you are a diplomat also. Tell our listeners, how does it feel staying away from your homeland and on your postings across the world? How will you describe that sense of, you know, being away from uh, the homeland? I, as a diplomat and as a human being, I see whole planet as a home. You know, it's just a slightly different perspective Mm -hmm. in the sense that's also our Earth Mm -hmm. is our cosmic home. Mm -hmm. It's our planetary identity. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, Mm -hmm. when you are away from your country, Mm -hmm. your own culture or Mm. people you feel more strongly about it you miss it Mm. and then it it takes an overwhelming Mm. uh, shape and uh, then it comes out in your works Delhi for example Mm. or Nalanda for example Mm -hmm. I would uh, really really miss these places and uh, then I start writing about these places to fill that vacuum that gap 
so that I feel closer to my home. That's very well said. Abhay K, thank you very much for coming to the studios of Volunteer Radio and sharing your your views with our listeners. Thank you very much. Thank you.